Hello, and thank you so much for logging on to EssayTalkToday.com. If you are watching us on our YouTube channel, the Silver Fox Multimedia Studios, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like and share as well. If you're watching us on our Facebook page, whether it's Essay Talk Today or our Silver Fox Studios uh, F fan page, <laughs> please make sure to like and share and please comment in the inbox as well. Today I am super duper uber excited as usual to have a wonderful person sitting next to me here and he can help you do so many things when starting up your business to bringing your nonprofit dreams into fruition, Mr. Gerald Newt Newton. So thank you so much. Good morning thank and you. cheers. <laughs> Mr. Newton is very, very, very instrumental in actually helping you to produce all the documents that you would need to be able to start up your own business, whether it's for-profit or non-profit, as well as a myriad of other services. So I'm going to let him tell you now. Tell us all about how you got started and how you can help people. Well, um, we uh, we founded TriMerge Financial Group uh, back in uh, 2007. And at that time, we were helping people with less than perfect credit. Uh, get uh, home mortgages. We were actually uh, mortgage bankers. We had our own branch, and we uh, we were very successful that with that until the collapse happened in 2008. Mm -hmm. So from there, we 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 noticed that you know people were, of course were getting bad credit with foreclosures, repossessions, and such like that. So we wanted to 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 go full time and help people you know uh, you know with repair their credit. So from there, we shifted our focus, and uh, we brought on. On, um, a, a document preparation uh, uh, part of our business, a division, and with that document preparation business, that helped us to to learn how to do uh, uh, identity theft intervention, and uh, and uh, uh, all of, all of our other services that you know that we have until we moved to here to San Antonio in 2009, and then we were challenged by a church to do their 501c3. And we successfully got this church their 501c3 nonprofit uh, certification. And from there, we learned that we could help other businesses, profit and nonprofit alike, with the paperwork to, you know, to get their, you know, their businesses up and running. And, and get that's their definitely the toughest part because I think all of us have a dream inside to have a business, whether it's for profit or nonprofit. But the hardest part is to actually get that paperwork up and going because there's so many I's to dot, there's so many T's to cross, and there you are and you're confused and you're not sure which office you should go to, which office you shouldn't go to. You're trying to figure out which fees are applicable to you. And then you're thinking, oh my gosh, I get a letter in the mail from the IRS. And you're like, and what is this? And they're probably just assigning you your own personal code. But if you don't understand the paperwork, right. it can be quite frightening. I have to say, as a small business owner, when I first started my business in 1995, I received a letter from the IRS just saying, oh, great for, you know, congratulations kind of thing. You started your own business. Here's your personal code. And I was like shaking, right. reading it, going, who do I call? Am I in trouble? Right. So it's awesome to have Newt, which your friends and associates call you, correct? Yep. Yep. Uh, at your disposal to be able to have him as a resource for you because right. it, it can be quite challenging. We walk you through the and, whole process. Process. Yeah. And he'll hold your hand and he makes it very comfortable for mm -hmm. you so you don't feel overwhelmed by all the, right. the big <laughs> letters yep. and, and words. So um, you started off as TriMerge with the mortgage. And so you mm -hmm. stayed TriMerge or did you convert the name on that? We, we, kept, we kept the name TriMerge Financial Group okay. uh, because everything that we deal with has to do with finances one way or another. Mm -hmm. um, and so we we, uh, we like that name Tri Merge, you know, because it's to us, um, you know, it, it started from the credit repair because we were merging everyone's credit together. Um, and so now we're merging ideas to become businesses and, and nonprofits. So we kept the name Tri Merge. It's been good to us. And that's the thing is, you know, your name is the most important thing. That's what we always taught in financial health. Your name, your life, and your health are the yes. three most important things you have. So yes. definitely want to protect your name. And then when you start to go into business, what would you recommend to viewers who might be interested in starting their own business? Where would you recommend they start? Well, first of all, I always tell people, you start with your passion. If you're going to go into business, Go into business with something that, that you're passionate about, something that you're going to enjoy, because you don't want this to be a job. 
you know, you want this to be, you know, a livelihood. This is something that you'll enjoy. With that, after that, put your idea together. You know, um, we can help with your business plan. You know, if you come to us with just the idea, and a lot of our a lot of our clients have, have said that, you know, well, Newt, you know, all we have to do is tell Newt the, the idea of what we want, and he'll just hold our hand all the way through. And, and, and we pride ourselves on that because we know that people may have the finances to do it, and they may have the idea, but a lot of people don't have the expertise to follow it all the way through. So what we do is we make sure that that you know we get your business plan together for you. We we put we put you in line and put you on the track, you know, so that you can complete you know in in your business. I love that. It's like what's that saying? Without a plan, you plan to fail. Exactly. It's almost like you're driving around the United States. You know, you want to get to Cali yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Detroit. Sooner or later, yeah. <laughs> but you need to have that plan from point A to point B. Right. And what is that? And. I know people like me who like a lot of pink and get mm -hmm. distracted very easily. You're yeah. just like, I'm just going to work and work and work. But that's not really the smartest way right. to do it. You want to have goals set yes. short term, long term. Right. And so Newt can definitely sit there and talk with you about mm -hmm. that, which is awesome. Yeah. And because you have seen what can happen yeah. in the mortgage industry, you've seen how people, when they don't take care of their right. finances and they don't have that plan B, right. it can go really south really fast. So having your own business in mind, I always like to say even if you work for somebody right you should always have something you know part-time on the side that's your have passion yes yes and and it just takes time to build up that small right. so they can come to you with any size of business any correct? size of business awesome. you know we've had people that you know that work you know have a great job you know but they want it you know they're planning for their retirement they're planning for their future you know we have a, a, a client right now in Louisiana she's a, a school teacher getting ready to retire and uh her the, the 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 business that she's putting together is a, a child care facility so you see so that's a likewise you know job to or likewise business to what she's you know what she's doing now mm -hmm. and so she wants to be nonprofit because she wants to be able to to provide child care uh, free of charge to the people in her in her, oh, her metropolitan love. area so you know that's a great cause and that's something that she's passionate about so you know we, we help people you know that you know that just want a part-time business and so and then of course you know we help you know uh, corporations people that want to be corporations and LLCs alike and like I said what we'll do is when we sit down with you we'll help you uh, you know uh, prepare the structure you know because we do an interview with you you know so you know with our Q&A we'll find out well is this just going to be a sole proprietorship or is this going to be a partnership or is it going to be an LLC or is it going to be a corporation or a nonprofit and then you know we'll we'll you know we'll advise you you know of the ins and outs of of of, of that particular structure and that's so awesome because you can go online. You can find all this information <laughs> online on all the .gov websites. Yes. But when you have someone who's kind and compassionate and actually mm -hmm. asking you the questions that the online questionnaire or right. the online information is not going to ask you, yes. it'll help you to bring out different ideas and different options as well and just and explain to you everything. Yes. So you are in all 50 states basically able yes. to service people, which right. is awesome. So you can, if you're watching out of San Antonio, um, then you can definitely know how can people People find you. Uh, you know, www. Uh, you know, dot trimerge financial group. dot com. They can also see us on uh, on Facebook, and it's you know, Facebook. dot com trimerge financial group. And you do and, the little <clears throat> hyphen in there, don't you? T R I T R I hyphen. hyphen. Merch. Yep, M E R G E. We love Facebook. Yes, we yes. Facebook. And of course, they can always call us. You know, they can call us at two one zero two nine one nine nine zero seven. And that phone rings 24 hours a day. That's awesome. Well, because of all the time changes, yes. I'm sure that's why you have yes. all kinds. So tell me about this identity theft intervention. Because I know when I lived in California, mm -hmm. they said that people moved in and out of L.A. every six months. And so a lot of people's mail would continue to be delivered right. way after those people yeah. had left. And somebody else who wasn't so honest was like, oh, well, thank you very much for this Visa credit right. card application. I will sign this name. Yep. So tell me about the identity theft intervention. Okay. Well, our, our identity theft intervention um, division, it, we found that uh, identity theft is, you know, of course, is the fastest growing, you know, crime in, in the country right wow. now. And it's really one of the fastest growing crimes in the world. Wow. So with that, you know, there's plenty of, uh, of identity theft 
prevention companies out there that will help you if you haven't if you haven't been affected by identity theft. But we found, especially here in South Texas, that um, a lot of people are being affected by identity theft already. Yeah. So the question is, well, well, what do I do if I've been if I've been touched like that? So we have an intervention program that we uh, that we prepare the uh, the documentation for you. We prepare the the identity theft affidavit so that you can take it to you know the proper authorities. And then of course we walk you through you know the reporting process uh, of who to report you know who to report to uh, according to your personal um, situation. So we we not only prepare the paperwork for you, but we we walk you through the process as well. And I've heard kids have actually been uh -huh. uh, their social security numbers have been used yes. for identity theft. And you're thinking, but the baby's only six months. How right. could he have pulled out a mortgage? Yes, exactly. Or do something. We've had that happen so many times, wow. especially when we were in Michigan, that we would see. You know, here here's a guy, you know, 19 years old, and it's Mr. Newt. I I I I. I I got a mortgage on my credit repair. I mean, on my credit report, and you know, how do I do that? You know, and I look, and it's like, well, this guy's, I, you know, his identity was was basically stolen when he was eight years old, nine years old. Oh. So, you know, and what we've done with, with, you know, with that is, of course, you know, we just send in the, his birth certificate and and uh, a, a denial of uh, of debt, you know, um, and. Uh, and of course, you know, we take care of it for them. But, you know, there's there's so many there's so many ways that people are getting their I identity stolen. Mm -hmm. You know, like you were talking about the uh, the mail, you know, that's always a, 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 a big thing. Secure your mail no matter what, uh, because a person can assume your identity, you know, with just two or three pieces of mail. Mm. You know, um, there's uh, Internet. You know, people are, are stealing your identity, you know, from from all of the the, uh, the social publications, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, you know, there's, you know, the the uh, the uh, the scammers, you know, um, that, that are, you know, Hey, great! You've won a lottery and all that. Don't respond to that stuff. Of course not. You know, <laughs> you know just you know, just delete it from your you know from from your email and 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 then do not open it. Mm -hmm. You know that type of thing. You know that's how people are stealing your 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 uh, your identity. And with. here come the holidays. Yes. So people get more desperate during the holidays. Yes. So during this time, as we ramp up closer to the holidays, right. make sure that you are protecting yourself. Exactly. Protect your mail. Lock everything up because right. unfortunately. There are people out there who will steal, yes. and it's not a dream. And so that's basically a life-saving service it that is. you're providing because yes. you know, your, your name is your gold right there. Right. So right. you definitely want to protect that. So um, so you can help them protect their identity. Yes. You can help them bring their dream into fruition as a business startup. And then tell me about the nonprofit portion uh -huh. and how that would differ from doing a for-profit mm -hmm. startup. Okay. The business setup is one thing, the for-profit business setup. Of course, you know, we prepare the documents for that. But we have, uh, and we're this is the division that we're, we're we're mostly we're most proud of, and that is you know our nonprofit. You know we help uh, people become nonprofits, um, and basically the paperwork is is so similar to the business setup, and, but then there's there's a there's a, some some more. You know, that's a added few on extra to it. Forms. Yes, <laughs> and, and we uh, you know of course we we're. we're in bed with with the IRS, you know, we're in bed with with the with the state comptroller's office and all state comptroller's office and secretaries of state. So we we know what 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 you know what's needed from them. You know, we get updates from just about every secretary of state uh, nationwide, and of course we get updates from the IRS. And basically, what we do is we help you prepare that that paperwork. You know, to to get your five hundred one c three. You know, um, nonprofit. You know, um, start. Uh, start that's so. exciting because that's how we found you because yes. you know, we were doing that new smash project and Lisa and I had always dreamed of it yes. and uh, bringing that to fruition with you and I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. So tell them how many people do they need to start their board if they are interested because it's yes. not a for-profit where you can have one person right. calling the shots. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's a board. So with that, uh, years ago, the IRS would allow you to have like up to 11 people, you know, on your board, you know, but nowadays they've kind of simplified the, the process, you know, keep it simple, stupid, you know. <laughs> so, you know, the the uh, the amount that's needed for your board is just three people. That's you know, very Three directors. Yeah. Three directors. Mm -hmm. uh, so president, uh, secretary, and a treasurer, you know. 
Now you can have auxiliary boards, you know, or, or advisory boards, but they, they don't have the voting rights. It, you just need the basic three people mm -hmm. and uh, and you can start your, your, your nonprofit from, from those three people. And that's exciting because I have been reached out by other people going, oh, I want to start a nonprofit. Right. And, uh, you know, there's always been some question of how do you start, where do you start before right. we met Newt, obviously. Exactly. And uh, so that's nice if you have three people who share your vision. Yep. You know, you get together, call Newt at 210 -29 nine one nine nine zero seven and uh, there's this information right there on the screen yep. you can find them on facebook as well try with a little hyphen yep. in the merge try merge uh, so that you can find new because you know there are so many causes out there yes and uh, there's causes. so many people that do want to help mm -hmm. and they do want to be instrumental yes um and it's an excellent vehicle to use a nonprofit. Yes. and then establishing the 501c3 is the second step of becoming a nonprofit. Yes. so you can be a nonprofit without the 501c3 designation and then so tell us a little bit about the difference the difference between a nonprofit and a 501c3 is, is as simple as with the nonprofit, you can accept donations, but you can't write a donation receipt, you know, and that receipt can't be used as, you know, as a uh, as deduction for the for the donor with your 501c3 that gives you the uh, the exempt uh, the ex uh, the exempt status and it gives you the donation status that you could write a donation receipt to the donor. And the the donor will receive uh, will receive deductions from that that donation. And that's obviously based on the donor's personal tax right. situation. Yeah. So it is different for everybody. Mm -hmm. But that's what the benefit is. That's the of benefit. The five hundred one c three. Yes. Then we can start to write grants. Grants. So tell me all about the grant writing because right. last time you gave us a little clue uh -huh. as to how much was really out there. Right. And so I'd love to hear that. Well, our grant writing division is is a is a, a division that we're proud of as well, um, especially because it, it works right and in, in, in co sync with you know the the the, uh, the uh, nonprofit division. Um, we uh, we write grants you know for for five hundred one c three you know nonprofits and foundations, um, and of course what we do is we you know we do the interview with you again, um, and we find out what your causes are. Because we match your cause up, you know, with a, a foundation grant or a, a government grant or even just donors out there, you know, for fundraising. Um, so, you know, obviously, you know, if if say if you were looking to do a child care, you know, we probably wouldn't want to set you up with, you know, someone that's looking to, you know, to fund, uh, you know, a fashion show. It just, you know, so what we, we do is we find, we find funders to match the cause. Mm -hmm. um, and of course we, uh, we write the grant. Not only do we, do we search the grant, but we write the grant for you. Uh, of course, you know, we set up, we set up the business plan, you know, we, we write the budget and this is all with, you know, with, with your approval. You know, we don't do anything that's unapproved, you know, so we work with you and we tell uh, on all of our programs, we, we tell we tell our clients, um, you know, what we do with you is interactive. It's not, you know, well, here's your paperwork, you know, good luck, you know, see you later, you know, see you down the road. You know, we we work with you when you, when you sign on with us, you become part of our family and we become part of yours. So it's not like. You know, we just we just leave you out there to you know to fend for yourself. Mm -hmm. So everything is interactive, and with our grant programs, they're interactive as well. You know, you have the ability, you know, to approve everything that 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 we write, mm -hmm. and we're very good at it. We we we've achieved a, a lot of grant money, and there's there's actually if you want to be real about it, Jackie, there's billions of, of, of wow. dollars of grant money out there. It's just finding it, mm -hmm. you know, because a lot of these foundations are not going to just advertise, yeah. you know, but but, you know, a lot of these foundations, their sole their sole mission is to give money to other foundations. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we just you know, of course, and we already have an approved list. So we already know who's doing what, you know, um, just like, for instance, General Motors has a real big, a, a big foundation. And their their mission is to is to give scholarships, grants. Um, and grants to other foundations that uh, are that are so that support uh, the vision of techno uh, technology and technological advancement. Of awesome. course, you know they're you know they're car people, so you know they're looking for those engineers. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, and then of course, you know, we have like, like HEB has a big foundation and, and their foundation, you know, wants to, wants to give, you know, the, to, to, to other foundations that focus on, on homelessness and, and, and hunger. You know, of I course, love that. You know, they're, you know so, so you feel good so, when you go to AGB, you're yeah, helping out other people definitely. too, which yep. is fabulous. Yes. And that's very, very instrumental if you decide to pursue a nonprofit, especially with the um, designation of the 501c3 tax exempt status, is that being able to have a firm like Newt's on hand on your speed dial because that grant writing is really going to be instrumental in helping you to fund your dream, become. Uh, a reality and without those grant writing skills you'll be sitting there and you'll be like great I took all the steps to actually attain this designation but now who do I go to and a lot of people who are in the higher end tax brackets will be out there and interested in donating to a charity um, to help your cause help your purpose but, you know, when you have someone like Newt and his team behind you to write up that formal documentation to be able to do those letters of introduction, that actually will help your chances succeeding in getting that grant money because then it shows that person mm -hmm. that you are really serious, you are organized, you are a legitimate structure, right. you really are going to do what you say with those funds. Yes. Um, and then they can feel good about giving you the money to help your cause or purpose, right. which is so awesome. And then it just like a ripple effect, you know, you throw the yep. pebble in and then everybody gets to benefit. And then when it does, then those people actually in turn will turn back and help others. Right. And so that's what it really is, is doing business with the heart. And mm -hmm. so you definitely want to find Newt on his Facebook page. Um, and you can actually go Gerald and then it says Newt, right? N-E. WT and then mm -hmm. Newton, mm -hmm. or you can go on the Tri Merch, T R I hyphen with yep. the merch. M -E -R -G. And then also, the, if you want to just call him, his phone will ring 210 291 9907, and he'll actually answer, or yes. someone on his team will actually answer, which is nice. It won't be an automated voicemail. Right. Right. We don't do that. <laughs> it, that's really <laughs> difficult. You're just like, I don't know where to start. Right. I don't know who I am. Yep. <laughs> but Newt will definitely draw it out of you. He'll do a QA yes. with you and make you feel comfortable so that you can discuss because that's right. really the de the devil's in the details yes and nude handles the documents so i think there's yes. a reason why it's devil details and documents right. you want someone to control tame the devil for you that's and it's a, it's a big devil it is it really, it really is. is and it helps you sleep better at night when mm -hmm. you know all your i's are dotted your t's are crossed right because then you're not sitting there going what did i forget uh oh what right. was i supposed to send that in is somebody going to come knocking? Right. <laughs> Which is so scary because you really do want to do what your passion is. Exactly. You don't want to have to be fending off people, right. you know, because of a missed piece of one paper right. that didn't get filled out. And that's one thing that we help too, because we stick with you even after, you know, the, the, uh, once you get your your uh, your your documentation, once you uh, we 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 stick with you as a compliance officer. So with that being said, you know even after you get your grant, you know we make sure that that your use of the grant you know is in, is within compliance of the of the grantor, mm -hmm. you know because you know we know that 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 not everyone has that expertise, so it's just an extra service that we provide to our you know, to our clients. And it's, and it's not a, a for charge service. You know, it's, it's a, it's just a service that's complimentary that, you know, that we provide, you know, to our, to our family, you know, to keep you in compliance, you know, because once a year, you know, as a nonprofit, you know, you have to do your public information report and, and we're there to remind you to, to do it. And we'll do the Q, Q and A with you and, you know, help fill it out and make sure that you take it to the post office. And, and those are the little things that, that, that gives that gives TriMerge that competitive advantage above above all the others all, all the other document preparation companies out there. Definitely, you know, when you work with somebody who you have a rapport with, mm -hmm. it makes a much better than if you're dealing with calling into a say a a storage house right. of documents and yeah. you'll probably get a receptionist yep. who just has no idea what you're talking about. Who you are. They'll take your name and number <laughs> yeah. and somebody else will go and run and find her to find a file. Right. And and not new you can definitely call yes. him and he's like, Oh, I know you yes. and I know what your business and your cause exactly. is and where are we at? And it's that human touch that you really need when you're doing yes. business with people because business is really built on that trust and That's integrity and being able to have those kind of services all in one place is mm -hmm. so great. Because then you know, Newt won't be going, oh, well, call my friend, 
call my friend, right. it's like call Newt and he knows where to go yes. and he can definitely help you exactly. there. So make sure that you are logging on to that try-merge.com mm -hmm. and um, we have that right up there on the screen. So tell me, what is the funniest um, nonprofit that somebody approached you about? Because <laughs> not all nonprofits are uh, something Newt wants right. to work with. Right. Yeah, there's some. there's been some... <laughs> There's been some pretty weird ones. I, the one that 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 gets me the most is is the lady that that wanted to do the nonprofit for a bar, <laughs> you know, and and she was so adamant about it. Bless her heart, she was just <laughs> adamant about this. She and I and I asked her. I said, "Well, ma'am, what benefit does that have to the community? Mm -hmm. It's just a place for people to go and sit and relax." <laughs> And <laughs> she was all about anti-stress. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, most of the most of the causes are good causes. You know, so you know, and we look at all the causes. We look at you know what position they would have in the community and how it benefits the community because that's the main that's the main uh, you know the main uh, edifice that the you know the IRS is going to be looking at. Mm -hmm. They're going to be they're going to ask you that. Well, how does it benefit the community? So we look at how it benefits the community. And, and whether or not, you know, it's going to be a benefit as to where we, you know, whether or not we, we take it or not. So just because you contact Newt doesn't mean he's yeah. going to take your idea. Right. I mean, as long as it's legitimate, yes. he's more than welcome. Well, right? more than you're happy more, to. More yeah. than happy. But if you are just sitting there wanting to. To open up a bar. Right, right. <laughs> so people can relax. We would advise you a to, to go a different route. Exactly. Yes. And then, of course, you know, say, like with her, she, she wanted it to be a nonprofit. But we ended up talking to her and saying, well, you know, we can get, you know, we can get your paperwork set up, you know, for, for a bra, you know, and you could just have a bar, mm -hmm. you know, you could have your lounge. And so we did help her set up her. Oh, her, okay, her, very her, nice. You know, but you know, it was we, a for-profit for structure. For -profit. We, we advised her away from the the nonprofit. Right. But we help any church around the country, um, any organization that has to do with children, um, any organization that has to do with with empowering, um, you know, women, children, and and young men. Mm -hmm. um, we 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 love to help those organizations. Um, anything that has to do with animals and pets, you know. Um, I, have, I had a lady that called us from Northern Michigan. And she wanted to open a horse rescue. Oh, wow. Because there's so many, you know, people, they buy these horses and then, you know, they, they buy them as presents and then they just, you know, they abandon them. They can't you know? feed them, can't right. take care of them. Because horses are expensive. Oh, yes. You know? And so she she uh, she opened a horse rescue as a nonprofit. So, you know, we, we take on just about every cause. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So it's TriMerge, T-R-I-M-E-R-G-E, mm -hmm. financialgroup.com. So make sure. I think it's only on your Facebook that you have your hyphen. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Or you can contact Newt on Facebook mm -hmm. at the TriMerge Facebook page yes. or his personal page. Yep, Gerald Newt. That is so awesome. So um, if you have any inclination to start a business, whether it's for or nonprofit, mm -hmm. if you have any identity theft issue where you are already dealing with something that you know, another company can't help you with. Because a lot of companies, they're like, well, we'll protect you. But if right. you already have an issue, you yeah. have to find someone else. Yeah. So Newt is your guy. You definitely want to find him at 210-291-9907 and call him. He will pick up, yes. which is always nice. <laughs> and definitely. And then we're thinking about possibly in the future mm -hmm. having a nice mixer for all of our Newt friends. Yes. and. Family and business endeavors. Together. So yep. make sure you stay tuned on the Facebook pages. Make sure you keep watching us on our YouTube channel at Silver Fox Multimedia Studios. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. And feel free to comment in our inbox at either the Facebook page, SA Talk Today, or on our Facebook, Silver Fox Studio channel. Thank you so much. Until next time, bye. Mm -hmm.